Hi students. Today we are going to discuss the summary of the chapter 100 dress 1 written by Elbzerester. Wanda Petronski was a poor Polish girl. She lived on Bogan's Heights. She joined an American school. She was different from other girls in many ways her name was uncommon. She was a quiet girl and had no friends. She wore the same pale blue dress every day. Wanda used to sit in the corner on the last, but one seat of the classroom were noisy and rough boys, who got low marks, sat. There was a lot of dirt, mud and scuffing of feet in that area. Peggy and Maddie were close friends. Peggy was pretty, had curly hair and wore beautiful dresses. She was the most dick girl of Wanda's class. She often made fun of Wanda by asking her questions about their hundred dresses in a mocking, polite voice. Maddie wanted Peggy to stop teasing Wanda but she could never muster, gather, courage to tell her that. She used to feel uncomfortable of that. Perhaps it reminded her of her own poverty. Wanda, though a quiet girl, spoke a lot about her hundred dresses. She told the girls that her dress are made of velvet or silk. All had different colors and designs. She specially mentioned her twadress is only pale blue with colored trimmings and the other bright, green with red sash. Wanda's absence from school was not noticed for two days, but on the third day Peggy and Maddie who missed the fun of laughing at her, waited for her at the corner of Oliver Street where they used to meet her on their way to school. But Wanda did not turn up and they got late for school. Next day, it was drizzling. Peggy and Maddie did not wait for Wanda. They never wanted to be late for the school, because they were anxious to know the result of the competition. It was to be announced that day. As they entered their classroom, they stopped and gasped. Hundred drawings of bright and beautiful and differently designed dresses were displayed all over the room. Everyone, who entered the room, murmured with admiration. Miss Mason announced the result. Among the boys, Jack Boggles had won and among the girls won Petronsky. She asked the students to give her a special applause, though she was not present to enjoy it. She had submitted hundred sketches and every sketch was worth winning the best price. Hope you have understood the summary. Please do subscribe our channel, like share and comment too. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.